Romy Schneider she became very popular as Elizabeth of Bavaria in the trilogy about the Empress of Austria, Sissy, 1955, Sissy Empress, 1956, and Sissy's Fate, 1957. Until the age of 20 his career was dominated by his mother, actress Magda Schneider, a woman who maintained friendship, and it is rumored that something more, with Hitler and Goebbels. Tired of making romantic films, Romy decided to change the register and went to shoot in France Love Affairs with Elaine Delon in 1958, a romantic drama in which she was an opera singer and he a lieutenant with whom she lived a passionate love. Sensuality overflowed the turquoise pool of the Cote d'Azur mansion where Romy Schneider and Elaine Dillon shot in the summer of 1968 the scenes of what would end up becoming a cult film in France the pool.by then, the intense love story that had brought together two of the most promising actors of their generation was long over. But something continued to flow between the two interpreters, as the director shot. Very happily observed. I watched them, and I know that luck has just smiled at me, he liked to remember. That complicity inherited from a mythical love that fascinated a day. Time when cinema was still a world of dreams and promises would never disappear. Romy was the great love of my life, the first, the strongest, but also, unfortunately, the saddest, says Dylan to this day. And that at the beginning there was anything but attraction. She is a very pretty girl. But very capricious and boring, Dylan would say, as soon as he met her. It was August 1958. And the two young actors 19 years old her, 23 him were getting ready to shoot their first film together, Christine Dot despite her youth, Schneider was already famous thanks to films about the Austrian Emperor Sissi, which she detested. But the world had not yet discovered the handsome Dylan, whom Schneider had chosen as a Oh star for a simple photo. Christine's French producer recalled Paris match on the 60th anniversary of that mythical encounter, sent Dylan to fetch Schneider from the Paris Orland airport with a bouquet. He will go to her and offer her the flowers, he instructed. Schneider also did not know everything about that handsome man who was waiting for her. The producers had organized a meeting with the press in the halls of the airfield. At the of the escalator, I discover a very handsome young guy, very well groomed, with a eye, impeccable in a very fashionable suit. It was Elaine Dillon who would tell later. The coldness of the first meeting soon melted into a Franco-German passion that dazzled a Europe where the wounds of the Second World War had not yet fully healed. The spark soon caught. I went to Vienna, where we were shooting the film. And there I fell madly in love with you. And you fell in love with me, recalled Dylan in a posthumous letter after the death of the actress in 1982, at age 43. Young, beautiful and increasingly famous Dylan's career began to emerge, and nothing would stop it now. Settled in Paris, something that the German press did not forgive. In March 1959, the couple got engaged in the house of the actress's parents on Lake Lugano, Italy. But the fiancés of Europe, as the press baptized them, will never marry. There passionate but stormy relationship, filming that kept them apart, alleged infidelities by the growing deal in fades at the age of five. Legend has it that on his return to Paris. After a stay in Hollywood, in December 1963, Schneider discovers a bouquet of the car. Roses, so intense red, that it almost appears black, and a few short lines, I have gone to Mexico with Natalie. Thousand things. Elaine. Somewhat later he receives a more complete letter 15 pages long, in which Dylan says goodbye with a little more elegance and explains his departure with which he will become his first wife, and with whom he will have his first child, Anthony. Reason forces me to say goodbye to you. We have lived our marriage, before we were married. Our work took away. All hope of survival, I give you back your freedom, by leaving you my heart, Dylan. Wrote. Although the actor would have denied that scene, it continues to be remembered when their relationship is evoked. In any case, although the love ended, the friendship would not, and something stronger. That makes Dylan have evoked Schneider in almost every one of the interviews he has given. Since the death of the actress. Just a decade after their first meeting, when they both already have a child from different couples, Dylan picks her up again at an airport to start another filming together, the mythical La Piscina, in which the French actor has imposed on Schneider, in that time almost forgotten by directors, like their counterpart. The film relaunches the career of the German woman, although it does not rekindle the old love. 
In fact, soon after Dylan left his wife to start a long and turbulent relationship with another actress, Marae Dark, and during filming he apparently flirted with another co-star, a very young Jane Birkin, despite a jealous urge games board threatening to shoot whoever approached her. But let the scene that does consolidate a love that will last until Schneider's tragic death 13 years later, on May 29, 1982, unable to overcome the death of his son David a year earlier in an accident. Until today, Dylan assures that he cannot see the pool. It's too painful. To see Romy and Maurice, Ronit, the other protagonist, laughing out loud again. According to Vanity Fair, which did a long and intimate interview with him three years ago, Dylan still keeps in the inside pocket of his jacket a photo he took of the actress, already dead, in his bed. On September 22, 2018, he appeared at the Le Figaro newsroom with an obituary for the following day. Rosemary Alvich Reddy, Romy Schneider, would have turned 80 today. May those who loved you and who continue to love you have a thought for her. Thank you, Elaine Dealey. Years later, the gallant confessed in an interview that Romy had been the woman of his life and that he regretted not having married her. At 85, he always keeps her in mind in his interviews. Filming of At the Pool ironed out old grudges and led to a friendship that lasted until her death in 1982, at age 43. I am nothing in life, but everything on the screen, confessed the depressed Romy before. Her death, sunk in a deep depression after the suicide of her first husband, Harry Mayne, and the premature death of her son David to the 14 years. No autopsy was performed on the actress's body and it was officially declared that she died of a heart attack. The actor did not attend her funeral, although he dedicated a letter to her in which he called her my papel, little doll, in German, and remembered the beginnings of his romantic history. Often, we ask each other questions about our love. Who fell in love? First, you or me. We counted, one, two, three and answered. Neither you nor I together. My god, we were young, and how happy we were. At 85, Dylan always has her present in his interviews and assured that Romy had been the woman of his life. We'll <laughs>